Okay, so let's create a script for our player car right here in the assets. We need to create a new folder by the name of scripts. Okay, press enter and inside the scripts, let's create a new C sharp script by the name of player car controller. Okay, press enter and let's click on the player car. Let's drag and drop the script right here at the top. Now let's open this up in Visual Studio. Okay, I am using Visual Studio code. You can open this inside your favorite text editor. Okay, and now in here, what we will do, let me first of all remove these two functions. Okay, and at the top, let's add a header by the name of wheels collider okay we first of all need a reference to our wheel colliders so add a heading and then inside the heading let's add a reference to our first wheel collider so we will say public wheel collider and the first one is the front right wheel collider so we can type front right wheel collider then let's add a reference to our front left wheel collider then we need a reference to our back right wheel collider actually let me check it out in the wheels we have front left front right then back right and back left okay so basically the left comes first let me just cut that from there and add it at the top right there okay after that now we need a reference to our back left wheel collider and after this we need a reference to our back right wheel collider okay now we have the reference to our wheel colliders after this we need a reference to our wheel transforms as well so right here add a header and let's name this header as wheels transform and right here we will say public transform and the first one will be the front right wheel transform okay then the next one will be front left so front left wheel transform and actually let me move the left one above and then the right okay now let's add a reference to our back left and the back right wheel transform and now if we save this get back right here now if we click on the player car okay we need to add the colliders and transform so let me do that first of all we need to add the collider so let's add the front left then the front right then the back left and the back right after that let's add the front left transform then front right then back left and back right okay now right here back at the script let's add another header by the name of car engine and this will be inside the quotes and in the car engine we need some variables the first one will be public float by the name of acceleration force this will be equals to 300f and after this we need another public float by the name of braking force and by default this will be equals to 3000f okay and let's add a private float by the name of present break force 
and that will be equal to zero and create another private load by the name of present acceleration this will be equal to zero f and guys for now we will be adding the computer inputs so you can see the keyboard inputs okay we will add the mobile inputs in the upcoming videos for now we just want to add the car engine and moves our car forward and backward and then adding the mobile inputs that is really simple in reality okay for now let's concentrate on this so now we have the car engine variables the next thing we want to do is to create a private void method by the name of move car and in here we will type the code to move our vehicle on the vertical axis or you can say forward and backward okay like this forward and then backward so for doing that first of all we will say present acceleration let's equal the present acceleration to the acceleration force and as you can see the acceleration force is 300 so when this function is being called okay then the present acceleration which is 0 will be equals to acceleration force which is 300 so now the acceleration the present acceleration is 300 and let's multiply that by the vertical axis so for that we will say input dot get axis and the axis will be the vertical okay so what this means that whenever we press the w or the upward arrow button then the present acceleration will be equal to the acceleration force and this will basically move our vehicle okay and when we press the s button or the back arrow button then also the acceleration the present acceleration will be equal to the acceleration force which is 300 so it will move in the backward direction in the same force as the car move forward okay after writing this at the top what we will do as you know that we add the reference to our colliders so let's call the front left wheel collider dot motor torque and this dot motor torque comes with the wheel collider okay you will not see this in the wheel collider but this is built in with the wheel collider okay so we will set the front left wheel collider motor torque to the present acceleration and then it will rotate that wheel okay which is the front left wheel and as you can see the present acceleration will be the acceleration force so which is 300 so it will rotate the wheel with the force of 300 okay after that we want to rotate the front right wheel collider so the method will be same for that one just say dot motor torque equals to present acceleration now you can actually say that now we have uh, add the front wheel drive system to our vehicle because as you can see we move the car with our front two wheels okay now in order to test this out let's add a update function and inside this update let's call this move car function and let's open up unity okay now if you click on the player car here is the acceleration force and the braking force for now we didn't need the braking force but we added it so let's just leave this as it is okay now we have the references set okay let's just simply play the game and you will notice now when we press the w button our car moves forward now let's press the keyboard up arrow as you can see the car moves forward now let's press the s or the down arrow key as you can see our car stops and now it is moving backwards as you can see for now if you press the a d or the left right arrow key as you can see our car doesn't move to left and right it just move forward and backward okay we will add a steering system to our vehicle but that is for the future 
So now as you can see our car moves forward and backward and our car moves using the front wheels okay if you want your vehicle to be moved with all wheel drive if you want to make the car all wheel drive then simply say back left wheel collider dot motor torque and this will be equals to present acceleration and then the back right wheel collider dot motor torque and this will be also equals to the present acceleration now basically our car becomes all wheel drive okay save that get back to unity now let's play the game and now as you can see our car moves a little bit faster as you can see because it is now a four wheel drive you will notice this difference on your computer if you play the game okay as you can see and you can notice that how beautifully the same machine moves with the vehicle and you can notice the collisions with the environment as you can see when we move up to the walk point as you can see it moves it kind of shakes the camera okay so our car movement is really realistic okay and guys let me tell you one thing that I have made this car physics similar to a racing car okay so make sure that your wheel collider values are the same and also the rigid body values are also similar to mine okay and you can also mess around with these values and set it to according to your game but if you are following me then these values will be just perfect for your car as well so now our vehicle can move forward and backward now in the next video we will add a steering system to our vehicle or we can say our car so for that catch you guys in the next one